I saw you were running a little bit late, so I got Delquan to pick you up. Why don't you be a good little boy and change yourself home like the rest of the boys and girls? Now that we're all here, let's get to know each other. Starting with you, Robert. Stand up, move your hoodie, and take off your shade so that we can all see who you are. Why are you doing this? What do you want from us? Robert, take off your hoodie and remove your shade so we can all nah, see who you are. I ain't doing anything else until you tell us exactly what you want. I'm sorry, Robert. I forgot to put on the chains that they're high voltage. Robert. I can't hear you, Robert. Didn't you have something you wanted to say? No. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to upset you. That's more like it, Robert. Now take off your shades and hoodie unless you want your mother dead in the next five minutes. He might look like a cool guy on the outside, but he's a monster on the inside. I know you're probably wondering what I'm talking about. Does July 14th, 2012 ring a bell, Robert? Robert was driving home after a late shift at work, as he's done so many times. But Robert wasn't paying attention this time. So you see, Robert, you're not so innocent. But that woman you killed earlier today deserves to die. She cheated on her husband with his brother for five years. When he finally found out, he blew his own brains out while she cashed in on a $1.5 million life insurance policy. She's collected over $4.2 million over the past 10 years with this heartbreak hotel scam. That's why I had you put an end to it today. But this hitchhiker that you plowed over, he didn't deserve to die. For that, you must pay. I... I didn't think I hit anyone. You saw the blood on your car and didn't even go back to look. Spare me the sob story, Robert. Let's see, who should we talk about next? How about you, Greg? So, that's the long and short of everything. I know it's a lot to digest, but this is our reality. Hack, have you been able to locate Greg yet? Not yet. There seems to be something jamming the signal of the VID, the visual iris device. Right now, I'm trying to triangulate his location based on the last few pings from his cell phone. Once I get that, I can find his location from about an hour ago. I can hack the cameras around town to get a visual where he was going. All right, keep me posted and let me know the moment you find him. You got it. I can't imagine what Greg must be going through right now. He's been doing all of this to save our lives. 
Well, why didn't I just invite him to lunch? None of this would have happened. It's okay, Anne. It's not your fault. They put us in this situation. We'll find a way to get Greg out of this. <laughs> Don't worry. We're gonna put it into all of this, and we're gonna get him out alive. I promise. Yes! Got him. Ha. Haxer strikes again, baby. Where is he, Hack? Can I at least get a thank you? Do you know how many back doors I had to get through to get Hack, we don't have time for this. Where is Greg? Okay, okay. He's at 1131 Found Drive. It's an abandoned warehouse on the east side of town. That's only a few minutes away from here. Sandra, Jones, let's go. You two stay here. We don't need any more lives being put at risk. We're gonna get around alive. 